What, what do you up, Zeb? What's up? Looking good. What do you think? Looking good. What do you think, Josh? <laughs> they got Ohio cast ones coming, dude. Nice. We have some OEC Josh ones coming, too. Job. Oh, I already got my OEC one. Dude, OEC have, with me. That was 2020. That was 2020. We got 2021. Oh, I need 2021 then. You know, I got this one too. Go okay. high cast one's coming in the mail. But uh, so hey, where do we want to start here? Where yeah. do you want to go? Talk where to you, me. Where are you going tonight? Where are you going tonight? Cleveland State, Central Michigan. Uh, Drew Hildebrandt, number two ranked 125 in the country, is going to be on the mat. And uh, Ohio product Jake Manley from Hot Seago yeah. is going to get to, to face him. So that should be good. D3 guy. Yeah, D3 guy. Probably, probably would have had a pretty good chance of winning the state last year in Division Three Ohio. Uh, another one, another Ohio kid that's going to be highlighted tonight will be uh, number four ranked Matt Stunzel, the pin king in Division One NCA, two-time state champ. Clay product. Or Oregon Clay. We get to watch him tonight. And, you know, it'll be a good battle. It's a Mid-American Conference dual meet. I'm calling the action on ESPN, so – those are some good ones to look out for, and it's going to be great matchups all in the, up and down the lineup. So I'm looking really forward tonight to calling that, and then I'll put replays on Rockfin. Uh, should be a great duel. So, yeah, heading there, and then tomorrow morning headed to St. Edward for D1s, where we're going to have, I think, St. Mary's, Kaufman, LaSalle, St. Ed's. Rexville, Wadsworth, St. Ed's, and I can't think of the other two off the top of my head right now. Mm-hmm. But it should be pretty good. Um, I said Marysville, yeah. So that should be good. I think the big one there, the big news there is, who's pr- probably going to clear? Well, I don't know. So Kaufman's in the same half bracket as Ed's, and that was a three-point duel. So Kaufman and St. Ed's are going to probably hit in the semis. And, oh, Elyria. I, I missed Elyria. I didn't say Elyria. Um, Elyria is there. So who's going to clear from the top half? Um, Kaufman will probably push St. Ed's. And then um, I would take St. Ed's, and then who's going to clear in the bottom? I think a match that came down to heavyweight last time is uh, Wadsworth Brexville. So that should be another good one. So whoever clears out of Wadsworth and Brexville will probably face Ed's, but you never know, right? It could be Brexville Kaufman for the dual title. You never know, but St. Ed's stepped up. They hosted it. Yeah. Mark Neiman and, uh, Mark Neiman will be at D2 State Duels at Steubenville. D3 at Versailles will be uh, Rob Gore. So we're going to have all three of them covered. You'll be able to watch championship finals. I'm excited. Should be good stuff. But, uh, yeah, D3. So those will D1. all be on YouTube then? Or what, where are you guys putting Yeah, them? we're going to put them on YouTube. Oh, nice. I might put the final on a, a replay of the final on Rockfin. I haven't decided yet. So we'll see what the uh, – and I'll probably do the, the duels fi- live. I'm trying to stream them live on Ohio. the – the, the top semi and then the top final. So, awesome. yeah, we'll do it. But what else we got going on, Jared? What's coming up? Nothing. Nothing. Um, so, the, but tonight, tonight's match will be on Go Ohio too. Just to recap, or no? Okay. So Cleveland State Central Michigan will be live. The varsity matches will be streamed live on ESPN Plus. I'll be calling them, and then the backups will be live on Go Ohio Cash YouTube. Nice. Okay. So people can turn into ESPN plus. Awesome. Yeah. ESPN plus for the call on the varsity. And then be the, making that call like last time Will you be live, you be, you're doing the audio, right? You're doing the commentating on the ESPN. Yes. Plus? So. Yes. That's correct. So big time in us. Be good stuff. Big time in us on ESPN, huh? Yeah. I'm big pumped. Time. I'm excited for it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah that's basically what's going on there, but um, yeah, it should be good stuff and, and, and good things. What do we got coming up with so OAC, Jerry? Yeah, OAC stuff. Yeah, just kind of, you know, you're, you're a busy man this weekend, but then next weekend, right? We've got Divisional State. Uh, you'll be coming in, in for that, I believe, on Sunday, right? We've talked briefly on it, but Saturday is the big school. Sunday is the small schools and, um, you know, a ton of interest. So we're, we're excited. You know, obviously, you know, you being there is going to be a huge piece of it. We'll be, it'll be live on track wrestling, but, you know, with the limited spectators, um, you know, having you there capturing that and getting interviews is huge, right? Jared, just real quick, when we talk divisional state, I don't know if people quite understand the concept yeah. of a divisional state. Last year, you had it at multiple locations. This year, it'll be, it will be at one location over two days. Obviously, COVID-19 has changed things. What happens 
from last year to this year? And what have you changed about divisional states? First off, what is divisional states right. in the past and what is it going to be this year? Go ahead. Right. And Most parents don't understand, you know, you and I understand the high school structure, right? Three divisions based on your high school enrollment, right? Prior, prior year, whatever it is. But so uh, three years ago, we had similar concept put together and had real good interest. You know, it, it, right around 800 wrestlers last couple of years. You know, if you're a D3 high school wrestler, you're going to wrestle D3 wrestlers, right? But this year with COVID, we reduced it to two, which, you know, a lot of people think that that would be the best model for high school state. You know, you could debate that all day, right? Big and small, yeah. less watered down. Um, so that we have that this year. So if you're, we took the division two enrollment number. If you're above that, we split in half. If you're above that, you're in the large, which competes on Saturday. If you're below that, you compete on Sunday. So it's just a way to break it up. You know, a lot of these kids are wrestling the same kids every weekend um, at these tournaments in a traditional year, right? Um, it's a way to break it up and see kind of, okay, where where are these kids going to be? Who are they going to be wrestling when they hit high school, right? As we know, OEC is one division, so it's it's nails, you know, at the state tournament. But, um, you know, if you have those little rivalry, rivalries in D2 or D3 per se go, growing up, okay, that's, that's what it's going to look like in the future. I would think – Obviously, things change. Um, kids change school, whatever it may be, but it's a way to you know ch uh, change it up a little bit. So, you know, we've gotten really good feedback. Uh, Nine hundred entries, uh, over sixteen hundred people wanting into it. So, um, looking forward to a real nice, uh, big event spaced out. One hundred fifty kids a, a session. You know, one spectator, one coach per kid. You know, running sessions, clear it out that way. You know, you know the parents can be in the building and watch us. And I know you know high school has been hit or miss with high school. Uh, parents being allowed in there so so that's that's the gist of it man uh, so you know when we talk about this you went 450 of 450 you went 450 a division 450 a division for a total of 900 uh, it, had we been able to do a thing where we could have got maybe a third site or you could have done right. something different you could have gone an additional 450 obviously if you had 1600 people trying to get into it there would have been room for that other 450 okay here's the million dollar question you ready yeah right right what did Graham get pulled into are the Graham kids going to be competing in the big division they're, they're in small they're in small so they're in small okay that I'm was, 99% that sure was, don't quote me I you know been looking at numbers and big small yada yada but um, I'm pretty sure they're in small off the top of my head so they're they're going to go with small mm -hmm. so what will happen is the reality of this is is like Edison guys probably won't be running up against Graham guys when it comes to right you right. know like a Hermes isn't going to be running up against another Jordan when right. it comes to the state series, but Addison's actually been really close, like a boy or two away from being D2 here in the last year or two, haven't they? They've been real close, haven't they? Both, both cycles. I think they're on the nose, both cycles. Wow, that's wild. And then O'Carver. O'Carver, same dropped. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, O'Carver's the yeah, same way. Used to, used to, right? They used to be yeah. over every year. Yeah, just barely over when I was in high school. So, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. But when we look at this tournament, you know, is it? do you feel like it's pretty comparable to the OECs where it's combined divisions. Obviously, it's not going to be as tough, but do you feel like the quality, how you guys run it and everything, and then being at Canfield this year, do you feel like this is something that's going to meet the uh, the eyeball test for most people competition-wise uh, compared to other OEC events? Yeah, I think so. You know, without having the districts, I know people are always hungry for those districts and getting that state bid. Um, you know, it's a step up for most you know, local or statewide tournaments. I know your, your hammers across the state have been traveling to national tournaments and getting that national exposure. So I think this is going to kind of meet in the middle, you know, some of these kids haven't been able to compete, you know, even the junior high kids, you know, we have a junior high, so it is junior high and youth. So some of these junior high kids are going to get a step up for maybe the regular season. You know, a lot of these kids, <clears throat> they didn't compete um, hardly at all this year, right? These junior highs, you know, I know some didn't compete till after the first of the year. And then you know, events canceled and these smaller, right, wrestling within your conference, whatever it may be. I mean, some kids need a little step up from that. So we think this tournament's going to provide, you know, a step up in competition. Obviously, it's, it's not going to be what we're going to have in Cavelli. Um, you know, Cavelli is going to, you know, it's looking really, really going to be close to as normal as we can. Obviously, less spectators, but um, we're going to be pretty dang close to normal. I actually have a call with Cavelli this afternoon. So we get more, more details on that. But um, this should, you know, provide some hammer brackets. We're maxing it out at 16 man brackets just with it being a one day. And, um, but, um, it should be some good matches. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited to be there. I'm excited to cover it. It should be, yeah. 
great events. And then, you know, obviously the coaches that come along are great high level coaching in Ohio. So I love to see it. Uh, where is it going to be? What are the sessions? What are the dates and where's the actual location for divisional state OEC 2021? Jared? It's at Canfield County fairgrounds. It is brand new facility. Um, they just built this, um, you know, during COVID just opened up and um, you're going to have eight mats down. You can fit more, but I think that's the, the, you can't have too many mats because then if you run in sessions, you run too quick, right? Um, so eight mats down. Uh, February 13th will be your large schools. February 14th will be your small. Um, you know, we have, um, you know, the, all the, the usual guys will be there. You'll, I'm sure you'll run a few guys, your familiar faces and get some interviews. So yeah, next uh, week, uh, weekend, well, next weekend, you know, one week from today will be happening. So. All right, Jared. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. the time. Thanks for yeah. getting on here. Let me know, letting people know what's going on this yeah. weekend with Ohio cast and the YouTube channel and the Ohio state duels and division one wrestling at Cleveland state with central Michigan. I'm, I appreciate that. And then talking to AC, you know, I love talking that. So yeah. no. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for covering, man. It, you know, watching this wrestling and you covering it makes it uh, enjoyable it's hard to catch everything so when you're you know like state duels you know <laughs> a lot of those matches would never be covered if it wasn't for you guys you know i know neiman and gore work hard so so thanks we'll have to jump on next week and kind of recap your favorite i like i like hearing what are the must-see watches and must-see matches you know because there's a lot of you know a lot of content out there but thanks for all you do man how about there's the army boy. black knight that army yeah i think that? we talked we have george coming obviously that episode coming but you know Stalemates had you know, stalemates. 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 stalemates and shout out to Josh. Yeah. Shout out to Josh and the Barbarian. Josh, Josh will be rocking yeah. it tonight. He'll be up there at uh at Camfield. So, so good dude. All right, all over right, and out, Jared. All right, all right, Zeb.